Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Before I start my video today, I just want to remind you that likes are free of charge. <laughs> the thumb up, free of charge, if the video resonates with you, if it gives you any value. And also subscribing is free of charge. If you're still on the fence, go for it, it doesn't hurt. And if it brings you this much pain, you can always unsubscribe, hopefully not. Anyway. Today I want to talk to you about something that I felt um, inspired to do and that is in relationship to the banks because in the last two days, yesterday and today, I was actually closing two bank accounts. One was my father's and one was an old bank account that I haven't been using in Poland for a long time. And in the process of doing it, I've experienced several things and I want to talk about money today and about banks, especially those banks in Poland and the situation with inflation and other things of that nature. So as we know, um, the inflation is just starting to kick off really. And in Poland, at this point, just to give you the numbers, we have officially, which is just officially, right? Real life is another story. 13.9% uh, that was the number at the end of May this year, which is the highest since 1998. Now, looking at the Polish currency, Złoty, in relationship to dollar, for example, and I can tell you this from my experience because now one dollar is 4.4 złoty. Um, last year it was around four złoty, actually below, even below four. Um, so you can see on the currency how it looks like. And this comparing to rubles, just saying, because I actually written this down, uh, on the day of the beginning of the special military operation, one dollar was 85 rubles. And now one dollar is 53 rubles. So ruble is actually the strongest currency in the world right now. But going back to the banks, I want to share this with you because when I was closing the account in one of the banks, which is literally hanging on one thread before it will completely collapse. I don't want to say the name of this bank, um, but it has been one of the most unstable banks. And my father actually had an account there, so um, I'm glad I closed it. Anyway, when I was waiting in the line to be helped, I overheard one of the tellers taking care of the customer there. And literally I wrote this down because I couldn't believe that that's the case. So the lady who was a client was actually asking for um, what is the best offer? What is the best long-term investment for the foreign currency? I'm, I don't know what was it, if it was Euro or dollar, regardless, or maybe something else, regardless, right? And what she was told, and I written this down because I couldn't believe, this is what the bank was offering for someone who wanted to open the long-term investment, actually six months, one year, and a year and a half. So for the six months, for half a year, you could earn 0.7%. I'm talking foreign currency now, 0.7%. One year is 1%. And year and a half, 1.3%. And then I actually went on this bank website before this video, and I checked what is it for the Polish currency. If you choose to put Polish money in the bank, in that very bank, and save it for some amount of time. And what bank offers you is five, six, seven in this range percent uh, on your investment. And people still do it. And people still, it just blows my mind. People still do it when they know, I mean, I don't think there's anyone at this point in any country, especially in Poland, 
when they don't realize that inflation is just off the charts and it's very the beginning. And they are still considering putting money in the bank that might very soon collapse and get 0.7% for six months. It's insane. It's literally like giving your money away. So that was one thing. And today, when I was closing the other bank account, I want to tell you um, a little bit different story, but this is also related to the bank because there was a lady in this bank. This is true life moment now, okay? This lady was older and I was again waiting in the line. She was ahead of me. She was being helped by the teller. And when everything was done, she was ready to go all set. This older lady stood up and she said to the teller, I could, you know, I could see it. She was longing for a human connection and some understanding and someone to talk to and express her fears and frustration and sadness and desperation, you know? And she said she was, you know, she, she wasn't quite well, you could tell, weaker. And she said, you know, I am so afraid. I'm so afraid. I don't know what's going to happen. And I watch this television all the time. And it's, it's terrifying me. It's terrifying me. She was repeating that. And what, what shall we do? What shall we do? And I'm so afraid. And even the neighbors, she was complaining on the neighbors that if she knocks at the door and she wants to talk to someone, they are afraid to open. And, and you know, I look at this person and I said to myself, wow, how many people are in the position like this? That they are alone, they have no family, they have no one who, who cares that they even exist, right? I'm talking in the physical realm. <laughs> we know we are never alone, but I'm talking like flesh and bones next to you, a good person, like they have nobody. And then they are watching those newses and not only that they are fed with lies, but they are fed with this enormous amount of fear and they don't know how to process it. And I know that this truly was like God put me in those places yesterday and today for a reason to pay attention, to observe this. I have so much compassion for people like this, huge, especially for older generation. You know, my father is 89. And I look at those people, I'm like, what, what are they going to do when their pension is, is below any living standards in, you know, in countries like Poland, for example, is very low. So I just want to tell you this, guys, because I know we cannot help everyone, but sometimes I think even passing people like this on the street, um, it really touches me because sometimes all they need in this moment is someone to look them into, into the eyes and smile because they got ignored by the society, by the governments. No one really gives a bleep, right? And maybe I should say it, maybe I should record this on this video now and say it to you. Pay attention to those people and at least acknowledge their presence and give them your energy, your light through the smile or eye contact and just being kind, literally just being kind, that doesn't cost a single thing. If you can do more, wonderful. But I know not everyone can. So being on the subject of pensions and money and salaries, um, maybe many of you don't know, but actually in Poland, since last month again, since May 2022, you know what have started in Poland? Poland is the third country after Finland that was number one, Germany was number two, and now we have Poland that is going through this experiment of the guaranteed income. And that guaranteed income is 1,300 zloty. I didn't, uh, okay, let me see. Over $400, okay, approximately. A little bit over 
for is it 400 no below sorry 300 something dollars uh, per month guaranteed income so this experiment is done in the region of poland which is called varmian mazurian region is north of poland um, actually it's um, right next to the baltic sea north east the direction and they are testing it on minimum 5000 citizens up to 30 1000 people so this is already being tested and you know in the situation like people are now i know a lot of people unfortunately will do it and then you know they will be trying to force it on people too um I don't know for how long this experiment will be. I couldn't find this information. I know for some time, but it's already taking place. So how I, how I look at all of this myself personally, and of course, many of you who have been following me know I'm by all means no financial expert or none of that. But even those experts now, they are like every, everyone is totally not sure what's gonna happen except many of us know that the precious metals are the way to go and i repeat this again you know cryptocurrencies right like it don't like it invest don't invest i'm not saying that this will not take off but it looks at this point this might even go lower, like Bitcoin, for example, might go lower than it is. Um, I've been watching some interviews with some really, really, um, with people who study this case, you know, the, the charts and how it goes up and down. And they have been predicting, someone who was predicting this very accurately for a long time. And he said that it will go even lower than it is. And ultimately, I don't know after how long time it might go up, but I tell you guys, if you can try to secure whatever savings you have in gold and silver, this is just my personal um, opinion. You follow it, you don't have to. I'm not telling you what to do with your money because it's your money. Um, at the end of the day, I know one thing that what will keep you going through these times is the strength of your spirit. You know, there are people who have enormous wealth, but they are still afraid, right? It doesn't matter what's the amount of the savings, they are still afraid. It's the attitude towards how resilient you are in life, how you can face any obstacles, and that there is someone watching over you because there is, you know, even people like that older lady that I, I saw today and many others like that on the street, there is a moment when they know they cannot fight this with the governments. They, can, they cannot do from their position anything because not only they are not in, in power as far as they, I mean, we are the power, but they are not in the position to even do anything physically they are older they are weaker many of them are sick and they don't have energy for this they literally don't have energy for this so i tell you your spirit is the the most important thing right now your mental health your spirit and appreciating every single little thing every day because now i think what we're going to experience, especially with gold and silver, and I was looking at this for quite some time, um, gold was going up. You know, I studied this with gold because I put some money in it as well. And silver, especially gold, it went up. The intervention started, it went over $2,000. And then they push it down, they manipulate, they push it down, they push it down. Now it's uh, below 1900. It's around... 1840 something like that i have a feeling i do believe they're going to push it even more down around 1750 1795 something like that 
but that doesn't matter. It just you, if you have precious metals, hold on to it. Don't sell it. I'm telling you, don't sell it because it will come a day, not long time from now, when gold will go over to 2,500. And once it crosses this threshold, I'm not an analytic, but when you follow people who do those type of analysts, they actually show you how this works. There is a system to it. Then it will go higher and higher and higher. So I know I'm rambling now, but I just want to emphasize, don't rush into, if you really need to sell in order to survive, do it. But if you don't have to, please don't hold on to it. And you, you will see how this will be a completely different um, value. Well, the, the fiat money will be crushed completely, but how that will be much, 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 much more worth. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, I know it may be a little strange video, but I had this inspiration to record it about things that, you know, are everyday life and just give you some advice about those precious metals. Now, I, when I was in the US, I was buying, you know, from who? From Money Metals Exchange. You can find the link down below the, to that company. Um, in Poland, I buy from a place that's called Menica. I think that's the name. I'm gonna attach it. I have no uh, business with this Polish place at all. With the Money Metals Exchange, they will offer you half an ounce of free silver if you buy for the first time over a certain amount mentioning my name. So you have it down below. But if you live in Poland and you're thinking from who to buy, I highly recommend you that place because in my opinion, and I've dealt with them for quite some time. They are very honest, trustworthy, professional, and um, they have different locations in Poland as well. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, more interviews are coming. I just wanted to talk about this thing today and make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, check out my books for children and my novel. And yeah, until next time, some new guests might be coming next month so stay tuned lots of love and remember the spirit the spirit is the most important right now <laughs>